Hello everyone, it's me Papa Hector and I'm excited to continue doing these video blogs with you and keep talking about different subjects, different subjects about spirituality, about me, getting to know y'all a bit more. So today what I want to talk about is mistakes in Vodou, in the spiritual traditions, and elsewhere as well as with me. <clears throat> So the first thing is that I, as a spiritual teacher, embrace and have the belief, believe the fact that earth is the classroom for the spirit or the soul. So therefore, you're going to make mistakes. You can't get a A in every single class. You're not going to pass with a hundred in every single area or subject of your life. You're going to make mistakes. Mistakes happen. Such is life. C'est la vie. Anyone who knows me knows that they hear that constantly coming out of my mouth. Is C'est la vie. Such is life. Okay? So it's not about whether or not you make mistakes. It's whether or not you take responsibility for those mistakes. Now, when it comes to making mistakes in Bodu and making mistakes in the Reglema, in la regla and the way that we do things, okay, one should acknowledge one's mistakes <clears throat> and yet come to understand that acknowledging one's mistakes and asking for forgiveness for one's mistakes doesn't mean that the spirit still is not going to require you to pay a penance or balance out the situation. The spirit is all about balance and it's going to rebalance out the situation and you may have to pay for some of your mistakes. Take your uh, punishment with resignation, deal with it, and move on with life. Such is life. C'est la vie. Number two is a lot a common mistake that a lot of people make. Whew, a lot of people make is they make a mistake with their godparent or their temple, their mama, their papa, their madrina, padrino. Mama Kanzo, Papa Kanzo, whatever it is, and their temple, or and or their temple. And if you're in the Vodou, and you're an initiate in the temple, and you're a member of the temple, then you're a child of the temple. You're a Tife of the temple, a little leaf on the branch. And we expect that you're going to make mistakes. If you make a mistake with your godparent, ask for forgiveness. And deal with the fact that the spirit is going to cause balance, respecting the law and causing balance with all things as the spirit does. So just take that into account and take into account that you're going to, you know, experience the rubber band effect of the balance that's going to have to occur from the spirit's end. Very cross with resignation, acknowledge your mistake ask for forgiveness, be sincere, and then get over it and move on. If you're, you have a godparent or a mama or a papa, me, I'm Papa Hector. I expect people to make mistakes and therefore part of my job as a hungan, as a priest, as a Papa Hector, as being Papa Hector is to expect that people are going to make mistakes and say la vie, not hold mistakes against people. <clears throat> I've had many people who come back to me and who have made mistakes with me who are um, scared to come back. Or some people who have actually written to me, you know, I've been away because I've made such mistakes and I've been scared or fearful to come back of what you would say, etc., etc. Let me let you know this about me is that I'm Papa Hector. And what that means is that you know, as long as you're sincere, you come back, you're asking for forgiveness, you co you're coming at me right, and you're coming sincere, and you're ready to do what it takes to resolve the situation, then um, there's no need to fear. And the situation can be resolved. Just because, now, I'm Papa Hector, I'm a Hungan of the Vodou, uh, I practice Sansei 21 Division. Does that mean that just because I forgive the mistake that I forgot the mistake? Hell no. Um, does that mean that you, we're going to have the same relationship we had before? Probably not. But we can rebuild some bonds of trust 
and working together and resolving things and moving towards a positive state and getting there. So that is how, how it works. Now, if you make mistakes with your temple, it's the same thing. You know, ask for forgiveness of the temple. Be man or woman enough to man up, woman up. And basically say, look, I've made this mistake against the temple, and I'm asking for forgiveness. If you've left your temple and you're returning because you've made a mistake, whatever the situation may be, you should go back and make an offering and make an offering to the spirits of the temple. The same thing with a godparent. You should make an offering to the head spirits of the godparent, the head spirits of the temple, the mekaila, so that everything can be set right there so that you can be held in a position of honor. And then again, expect the spirits to balance the situation out and to cause balance with everything. And such is life. You, you can't worry about that. You just have to deal with what you have to deal with. Okay? And I've had a lot of people commit mistakes against me, lie on me, slander on me, you know, talk bad about me, do negative things to me, try to harm me, et cetera, et cetera. And some of the things that I can recount to people, I, I've yet met someone who would have said that they would have forgiven a person for doing that mistake. And yet I've forgiven people for doing such mistakes because I understand, okay, the world and the spiritual world and how this really works. And so I have that capacity to forgive all mistakes. I have that capacity to be able to look past that, look at the true you and the true nature of who you really are and where your heart really is at. So that doesn't matter to me. But if you're working on, you know, getting forgiveness of others, you should also be working on forgiving others yourself. Because you can't expect to get what you're not giving. You can't expect for forgiveness and smooth sailing and smooth waters with other people if you're not doing the same thing. Forgiving yourself as well as forgiving other people yourself. Okay? You have to put that energy out so that it's coming back. Vire bien, tunen bien. When you put out good... Good comes back. When you put out bad, bad comes back. That's very basic voodoo for you. Okay? Um, and when you make mistakes with others, apply the same rules. Like, pay respect to e each other and individuals. Take, you know, what's going to be taken. Some people are not going to forgive you for your mistakes. Some people are. And accept whatever you have to accept and move on with your life. Say la vie, such is life. You know, if the person doesn't accept your apology or doesn't accept you coming back and doesn't forgive you, then you work on forgiving more people your own self. And if they can't accept that, clear yourself of that. You've cleared yourself of that. It's up to them when they want to accept that apology. If they choose never to go back into having a connection or a relationship with you in the same format, accept that as well. That's an individual choice of that individual. And um, that's to be expected because there is, as with everything, some cause and effect. And you can't expect everything to be washed away because you say, I'm sorry. So if that's the situation that you have going on in your life, then this is how we properly, as Vodou Assants, deal with making mistakes, and what, which is what we're all expected to do. So I hope that this has helped you, and until next time, keep the faith. Papa Hector.